All right. The last video we uh, stopped more or less uh, here, where I had just started training of the sleep model for detecting dolphins in a, in a scene. And training takes a lot of time, especially if you don't have a dedicated graphics card for this. Um, so I started it around 10 o'clock in the evening and um, about nine hours later uh, the training finished. And through this period we can see how some measures actually developed over time that indicates the, the progress of the training. We have the loss function here which starts out being 4.2 um, times 10 to the minus 4 and that value is decreasing. This is a good indicator that learning actually takes place. We also have the validation loss which also seems to be uh, decreasing. That's also a good indicator when the validation loss, loss starts to increase again uh, you usually stop the training and this takes place uh, around here which uh, is uh, the best um, program you or the best version of the neural network as assessed by, by the training set here. Good. Let's take a look at what actually comes out of this um, at this stage inside the uh, folder where we had the, the different things. Um, we also have this uh, visualization um, directory and inside that we can see some uh, images that indicate how well the training has uh, succeeded initially. Uh, I won't do this in, in full screen. Um, this is before any training. We can see the annotated points uh, on one of the training samples and these are shown in in green with a white ring around them and there are no uh, detections present here uh, but if we go a few iteration or epochs uh, onwards um, we can see that it actually starts to detect um, a key point here and the uh, red line indicates where it should be, so there's a small area here and a, there's a much larger area up here. We can also see that some of the elements in, in the background seems to brighten up, which indicates that the network has found some interesting features in, in that location. Um, that could be the location of, of the key point. So this was after five iterations of five epochs. And then training takes on for uh, a good while. Now we're after 14 epochs and we can see that most of the elements are actually found rather close to, to the true location. And we just continue with this. The parts that are denoted train and then a number afterwards is samples that the neural network actually sees during training so we will expect to get more or less perfect in uh, recognizing the, the position of, of these uh, landmarks. And we can also see that they get better and better as we go through the, the iterations. So now we're close to 50. They are not spot on, but they are actually quite close to the right location. So far so good. And it might even improve a bit here. Um, good. Now we get to the validation part. These are a set of the images that haven't been used for adjusting the weights in the neural network, which means that <coughs> it can't just have learned these uh, by heart, but it needs to be able to recognize something in the scene and then position them uh, in a good way. After the first few iterations, uh, or epochs, it still doesn't really uh, detect anything, but uh, after a few more we can see that um, these bright areas start to emerge. So it is um, figuring out there should be some elements here and it is has also started to detect certain uh, objects in the scene. So far so good. And we can uh, do this for, for a number of uh, iterations and we can see how the estimates actually are improving over time. So getting closer to, to this. And if we go on a bit more we can see that they are even better and 
it will just continue like that for for this so this was uh, what we had when we trained the model so let's see if we can actually take a different um, video and then see if we can analyze or actually track it in, in all the, its locations here so sleep label as we had before so for this to work we need to load a new video we had the same example as before we just import it and then we can run the prediction uh, step here or run inference I need to save it first um, good and what to call it here um, inference test and then I can start to actually run the inference part up here for this I need to choose what type of model it is it's a single animal and I need to load the actually training configuration file and I have it inside here so it should be this file so I fi after I have trained it the model besides inside this uh, folder uh, named the date and the time when I started training and then there's this uh, training config I need to choose and when that has been chosen we can actually see that uh, the values um, in the grayed out boxes are the same as, as we set them for that and we can go back to the inference pipeline and finally we can choose okay what should we do the predictions on and we can simply say run so now it starts uh, going through all the um, all the frames of the video it takes a, a while to start up um, and then we can see okay how many frames will it do per, per time right now it deals about uh, two frames per second and it states that it will take about six minutes before this will be uh, finished so um, Let's just uh, stay there for a moment. And for this, I just need to wait for, for this to happen. I will probably cut this out of, of the video prior to, to uploading it um, because it just takes time and waits. <laughs> 